Wash away my sin Nothing but the blood of Jesus And what can make me whole again Nothing but the blood of Jesus Singing, oh precious is that flow That makes me white as snow No other found I know Nothing but the blood of Jesus Let's do it again What can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of Jesus tell me what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus not of good that I have done nothing but the blood of Jesus nothing can for sin atone, nothing but the blood of Jesus. We're singing, oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as gold. There is no other I Say it's nothing but the blood. Do that again. Say, we're singing, oh. But the blood of Jesus This is all my hope and peace Nothing but the blood of Jesus yeah, This is all my righteousness Nothing but the blood of Jesus We're singing all oh,
Jesus. And it still has the power, the wonderful power to heal our diseases and cover our weakness. But it still has the power, wonderful power to heal our diseases and to cover our weakness. But it still has.
your hands, everybody. Come on. Clap, clap, clap. Friday, clap your hands in here. I want you to do me a favor. I know some of the saints are still coming. I want you to go around, find about three or four people, and just tell them I'm glad that you made it. I'm glad. Find about three or four people, tell them I'm glad that you made it. Come on, I'm glad that you made it. Come on, cross over the aisle, find somebody you don't know. Make them feel welcome, make them feel loved.
up in the room. You need this. You need this moment. Hey! Get it twice. Bam, bam. Yeah. Help me. Hey. <laughs> you need this moment right here. church of the night. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I need this. Hey! It's going to be a night of miracles. How many believe God tonight? I said, I believe God for some miracles tonight. I can't hear you. I said, I believe God for a miracle tonight. I don't know who's going to get it, but I believe, listen, I believe it's in the house. Hallelujah. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hand, everybody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to act Jewish, but y'all keep pulling me back to some church with red carpets and a communion table that says we do this in remembrance. With a broken MLK fan and a tambourine. Y'all don't know about that kind of church. Clap your hand, everybody. Hallelujah. 
and we give him praise and glory. We give him praise and glory to Jesus. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise one more time. Come on, ain't all over the place. No, come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, break out of it. Come on, break out of it. Break out of it. Come on, shake it off. Shake it off. Hallelujah. Oh my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we in the quiet church. No, no, no. We can't be held by stuff. No, no, no. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. 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 It's going to be a great night for us. God is up to something on our behalf. Will you look into somebody and tell them that God is up to something on your behalf? God is up to something on your behalf. No, tell them again, they don't believe you. God is up to something on your behalf. God is up to something on your behalf. Don't go by what it looks like right now. God is up to something. Don't go by what you got going on right now. God is up to something. And I heard Dr. Dodd tell me this earlier. You're going to pass this test. Hallelujah. I don't know who that's for, but you're going to pass. You're going to pass. You're going to pass this test. I don't know who that's for, but by five of y'all need to grab it. You're going to pass this test. You are going to pass. It's just a test. It's just a test. It's just a test of your emergency broadcasting system. It's just a test. Don't get dismayed by what's going on. It's just a test. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you're greater than the test. Hallelujah. You got more power than the test. You got more ability. You've grown. You, you're bigger than you used to be. Hallelujah. 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 It's just Mother Renee is just Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the enemy gets wind of what's going on in your life, he tries to hold on for dear life, but you gotta know, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, 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 no. I saw something. God showed me something. God's doing something on my behalf. Hallelujah. Clap your hands right there. We give him praise. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Hallelujah. 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 Bless his name. Well, tonight, uh, it's all our first time guests. We welcome you to the Movement Center. I feel the Lord in the room. I feel the Lord in the room. Hallelujah. Tonight is a special night for us. Uh, it's the night where we're doing our oil ceremony. We also will be doing our incense ceremony, the holy incense. Uh, I believe God's going to do something in our midst. Um, we have some furniture that uh, has been made, and I want the altar of incense to come in now. Uh, hallelujah. Give me all that. Give me all that. Don't, don't stop playing all night. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible in Exodus 37 talks about a piece of furniture called the altar of incense uh, that would be constructed a certain height and a certain width. Uh, it had special dimensions. It also had horns. Uh, the staves are so that it could be carried because you cannot just handle it any kind of way. Hallelujah. And so uh, by the auctioning of the Holy Ghost and by the skillfulness of uh, our beloved uh, Elder Lewis Wood, who uh, make this. Clap your hands for him. Amen. Uh, we, now, we now have an altar of incense. Um, hopefully by the time we get done tonight, 
I'll be able to show the significance of it. Uh, and so uh, this, though it seems like it's just a prop, it's not. Um, because of the significance of what God wanted on earth, uh, 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 that kingdom come, that will be done where? As it is. So if there's an altar in heaven, he wants to make sure there's an altar on earth. Uh, and so I uh, will explain the significance and what the horns mean and all those things tonight. Uh, so we have our menorah uh, to my right, uh, the seven candlestick uh, candelabra uh, to where uh, God commands that to be done as a work of art. And then we have to my left um, the table of showbread, um, the table where there's 12 stacks of bread that are actually uh, sprinkled with frankincense and because that's the commandment uh, in the scriptures. And I know some may say, uh, but that's Old Testament, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's Exodus. No, there's a spiritual principle uh, that God wants to done in the earth. And I hope by the end of tonight that you're clear on that you, on the inside of your vessel, have this holy place uh, in your life. Amen. So clap your hands for our furniture. We're grateful to God. No, clap your hands. Come on, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Hallelujah. We will start with our oil ceremony. Uh, we'll start with that oil ceremony. Don't, don't stop playing. I, I play the Lord. Give you, give you understanding. If you'll turn those strings up for me. Make me feel like I'm in some, uh, some big cathedral in Gastonia. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I'm good, I think. Merry Christmas. I'm good. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, the Shemin HaMishka. The Shemin Hash uh, HaMishka. Um, what is this? It's the holy oil. The holy oil. Um, as you can tell, uh, this oil, uh, we'll put Exodus chapter 30, Exodus chapter 30, verse 22 on the screen. Exodus chapter 30, verse 22 on the screen. Uh, and it says, and thou shalt anoint the tabernacle of the congregation therewith, the ark of the testimony, uh, and the vessels, uh, and the table, and the, all the vessels, and the candlestick, and his vessels, and all the altar of incense, and the altar burnt offering and with all the vessels. It, it says to anoint them and thou shalt sanctify them that they may be most holy. Whatsoever touches them shall be holy. And thou shalt anoint, somebody say anoint, Aaron and his sons and consecrate them that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. That thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel saying this shall be an holy anointing oil unto me throughout the generations. In other words, it wasn't just to stop with Aaron and his sons and Moses, but it's to continue through the generations. Upon man's flesh it shall not be poured, neither shall, it be, uh, neither shall ye make any other like it. After the composition of it, it is to be holy, holy unto you. And so what he commands in the scripture is that once you make this holy oil, sanctify it, make it consecrated, make it holy, make it separate, make it uh, distinguished, sacred, uh, you don't cook with this. Hallelujah. Y'all, may the Lord give you understanding. Uh, the ingredients, uh, we'll start with uh, the olive oil. Uh, the olive oil, uh, as you can tell, this is a little darker. How many have ever seen real light olive oil, real, real light? How many have seen real dark olive oil? Uh, the darker it is, the purer it is, or the more it's close to the first press. Uh, the first press uh, is actually where they would crush, uh, they crush the olives three times. Each crushing gets a different oil because each oil has a specific purpose. Each oil press has a specific purpose. And so the first press first, in order for them to get to olives, they have to uh, shake the tree. They have to shake the tree. And once they shake the tree, they have to gather what was shaken. Uh, and then once they shake it and gather it, they then take it, take those olives so they may be crushed underneath a stone. Uh, what does that mean? For some of you all that feel like life has been shaking you, God says, I'm trying to get something out of you. Hallelujah. 
Uh, some of us that feel like we've just been in a whirlwind, way behind you, you just feel like life has been a whirlwind over the past couple of months. God says, I'm shaking you. I'm, I'm getting something greater out of you. Uh, for those that are in the room that feel like you've been crushed, hallelujah, where it feels like life has been unfair, the pressure of life, raise your hand if the pressure of life has been getting you. God says, I'm bringing a greater fresh oil out of you. There's something I'm bringing out of you because I have greatness on the inside of you. And if I never put pressure on you, you would never know what I put on the inside of you. But God, thank you for having confidence in what you put on the inside of us. Come on, somebody say something here. Thank you for putting, having confidence. Thank you for having confidence in what you put on the inside of me. Hallelujah. And so the first press, the first press, the first crush is where you get the extra virgin. So then whenever you go to the grocery store, you see extra virgin. That means it's the first press. Somebody say the first press. Uh, the only thing is, is that that first press was actually reserved for the temple as a emblematic or symbol of uh, his first fruits, like a tithe. Like you give God the first, you give God the best. And so the oil... Uh, the first crushing, the first press, uh, and that's why we have the darkest oil here because this comes from, the extra virgin comes from the first press. Somebody say the first press. Uh, the, the second, then after they get that first press and they gather it uh, because that's the first press, the finest oil used by the priest in the temple, uh, it, it comes out. It's almost like, it, it's like sweat, you know, drops of blood. It says when he prayed, uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane, when Christ prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, it's like he was sweating like drops of blood. Uh, that Gethsemane means to all press. In other words, uh, and he, how many times did he pray in the garden? Three. So each press, each press, each prayer time. And every time he came back, because of those that were in our Holy Seder, every time he came back, he found his disciples. And he would ask them, can you not pray with me? So, I mean, there's a time period of this crush. Hallelujah. But when God gets through with me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second press uh, is where they take this 500-pound stone and, and it's pushed. I've seen it when I've gone to Israel. It's a stone that would be actually driven in a circle by uh, donkeys. And they, what they would do is they would drive. They would, the, the wheel would keep spinning like this. And meanwhile, the donkeys would carry it. It will follow this little path around the trough or this oil press, this Gethsemane of sorts to crush it to make sure now we've got the first press. And I know some of you all say, well, Lord, I can't take it anymore. God says there's more in you. Hallelujah. Uh, th there's more in you. Uh, why is there more in you? The first press was for the temple. The second press, though, is to be used for food and medicine and cosmetics. In other words, things that people use every day. Hallelujah. That's the second press. And then the third press uh, is where you get the lightest oil. That's the third press. Uh, just when you think there's nothing left in you, God says, I got a little bit more in you. Hallelujah. That's when you think there's nothing left. God says there's another crushing. And, and as much as we glamorize the crushing, we don't like the crushing. The crushing makes you want to say things. The crushing makes you want to fight people. I can't handle Y'all leave me by myself. Uh, the crushing makes you want to say, God, what are you doing with me? And leave me alone. Anybody ever had to want to say that? The crushing makes you want to ask, how long am I going to be in this? And who put me in this in the first place? Because I didn't ask to be in the process. Can somebody say something to me? That, that's a place where you know you're being crushed. But that's also a place where you know... I would have never known how to pray unless I had been through some adversity. I would have never known that God is a healer unless I had been sick. I would have never known that God is delivering unless he put me in some circumstances where I need deliverance from. Hallelujah. Count it all joy when you fall into. Hallelujah. Then, once you have this first press oil, hallelujah, he gave specific instructions on what to add to it. It would be the myrrh. Hallelujah. The myrrh. Myrrh. Amen. Uh, the myrrh, which is actually, in order to get myrrh, uh, the myrrh tree must be punctured. He was wounded for our transgression. Uh, not cut, but punctured. Because you got to get the sap out of it. Hallelujah. Myrrh that's used for embalming, myrrh that's used during death times. Uh, so why would they put myrrh in the oil? There's some stuff, in order for you to get this new anointing, this new glory, it's got to die. But even in things that are dying around us, there's going to be a life that's going to come out. There's something that, matter of fact, God says to us that I'm not going to let anything you've gone through go to waste. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The myrrh. has 
an aromatic um, value to it. We stir it. We stir it. Stir up the gift. We stir it. The next is the cinnamon. Hallelujah. The cinnamon. Uh, there's two parts of the cinnamon that they pull from. One is from the bark. The other is from the resin. Uh, the bark representing the outer, uh, the thing that has to be crushed up, uh, symbolic also of our pride. Some stuff has got to be crushed. The resin representing our tears, representing what's on the inside. And uh, this spice, as it's burned, uh, gives off a, a fragrance. Hallelujah. Also, inside the bark. So after things have been stripped, there's still a joy that comes out. Hallelujah. I pray this be a joyous season for you. I said, I pray that this be a joyous season for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Calamus. The calamus is the calamus is the hardest to find, and things that are hard to find are more expensive. Every single woman in here, I want you to receive that. Though you may delay, though you may feel dismayed, because you're still single, watch this. I'm a I'm a precious, expensive value and commodity. Hallelujah. Uh, this it's hard to find, so it's more expensive. Uh, some things that take longer produce a greater, a greater harvest. Hallelujah. It is a plant, watch this, that's grown in the mud. Why would he use something in the holy oil that came from the mud? Why would he use something that's hard to find in the mud? Can I tell you that your greatest treasure sometimes is buried in your mud? Sometimes your greatest gift is buried in the mud of your doubt, the mud of your fear, the mud of all your experiences. Matter of fact, every person in here that's ever been through anything, you ought to say, God, thank you for my mud. There's something on the inside of it. There's something, there's something you brought out of my testimony. There's something you brought out of my experiences. If I discount it, I discount the fact that you've been a deliverer, you've been a provider, you've been a healer, you've been a way maker. Lord, thank you for my mud. Hallelujah. Calamus. As we glory, as we
as the scripture commands us to now anoint all of the furniture. Your hands all over the place. It's glorious. It's glorious. It's glorious. We. We. There was in the temple, there was actually it's a good sound, thank you. There's a place called the Holies. Hallelujah. 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 The outer court was where you laid it all down. I said the outer court was where you laid it all down. That's where the sacrifices took place. But then on the the next compartment, the holies, the holy place, there was a table, as I said before, they had 12 loaves of unleavened bread, 12 or one for each of the tribes, hallelujah, hallelujah. We placed the communion table to the side because it was actually the table of showbread was on one side. What does that have to do with you? I pray in this season that the bread, give us this day. Give us this day. Give us this day our daily bread. That every day God reveals something new in the side of you. Every day that God reveals his word to you. Every day that you open the scriptures, he reveals something new. I pray 
that there'll be a new season of revelation in your life. That when you open the scripture, you'll see stuff you've never seen before. I want you to lift your hand to receive that. That God will illuminate his word. That God will feel it. Man cannot live by bread alone. But every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, every word, there's a fresh word coming in your life. There's a fresh bread coming in. There's a fresh bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The seven candles representing the seven spirits. The spirit of the Lord. Knowledge, understanding, counsel, wisdom, might, the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. My people perish for a lack of knowledge. And all you're getting, get a good understanding. Uh, in the multitude of counsel is their safety. Uh, and, and as we said before, all this is in the Holy Spirit. So when you receive the Holy Spirit, you receive the seven in one and the one all in seven. So when it says, and the, and the man of God was filled with it. In other words, I'm coming to fill you with light. I want you to receive that. That God says, I'm coming to fill you with light. That whenever you got a problem, you can pull on something from the light. Whenever you got a circle, you can pull on something from the light. Whenever you need God to expose something, you can pull on something from the light. Because it's all, the, let your light so shine that men may see your work but glorify your Father. That's in heaven. Come on, just lift your worship all over. Ah, 
like things to flow well, but there's a problem with the wicks. The wicks are dry, so they can't sustain the flame. Why do we need the oil? You gotta keep your wicks flame. I said, why do you need the oil? Because I need to sustain the flame. I don't need my light to go out. Is there anybody here say, Lord, don't let my light go out? Lord, keep an oil in my life. I don't need my light. I don't need my flame to go out. I, Lord, keep me oily that my flame remain. Lord, keep me oily that my flame. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Such is our life. But well, we don't remain in a certain posture with God. As many times as he likes these, it's not going to stay lit. Anybody remember a season where God kept lighting you, but you didn't stay lit? Yay! Anybody remember the season where no matter how many times you came to a service and got on fire, by the time you left the service, the fire was out? Then you lift your head and say, Lord, keep the oil in my life. I need to remain full of oil. I need to remain full of oil. Hallelujah. 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 So as the priest, the Levite, works through getting the wicks oily. Now, what they use for wicks, we don't do anymore. What they use for wicks, we don't do no more. What are you talking about, Reverend? Well, the reason I wore white is because the priests all had white robes. And in the course, hallelujah, in the course of ministry, when their robes became stained, they could not use them anymore, so they then ripped them, and those became the wicks. So your service in another season, they left your robe dirty. God says, rip it up. God, help me in here. Because I need to use it for your flame. Hallelujah. In other words, your labor is not in vain. I just need you to let go of some old stuff so you can walk in a new... Hallelujah. And your robe is tailor-made for you. You can't wear my robe. I can't wear your robe. You can't wear my gift. You, uh, you, you got to do your own washes because it's tailor-made for you. And when it becomes stained in another season, this is why sometimes we got to reset. What do you mean reset? Sometimes ministry can make you not like people. Ministry cannot make you not like ministry. I can't hear nobody up in here. Ministry will drive you away. And God says that's when you know you got to change your garments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, change your garments. He's coming for a church without a spot. Where you get the spots from? From the service of my last season. What you did last season was good, but you need something fresh. Hallelujah. I said, you need something fresh. Oh, somebody say, Lord, make me fresh. This next one, you'll hold this for me. Thank you so much. It's the Keterets. Ketterets. Ketterets is the smoke. It's the fragrance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, full of the besamine, which is the sweet spices. Now to some, you think it's just stuff. It's full of herbs. But as the team, and I celebrate the team, clap your hands for my team, the witness, make sure everything was well. Hallelujah. Thank y'all so much. I think to Pastor Tawana said she went to like 10 stores trying to find every one of these herbs. Just, you gotta, insert, may the Lord give you understanding. Keep searching. Amen. Amen. Rosa Sharon, we got them all. Amen. In Exodus 30, verse 34 to 38, it talks about, God says, I want you to make a certain incense because I want my house to smell a certain way. Raise your hand if you don't like smells. Like, they smell like bathrooms that smell. I'm not using it. Come on, where you at? 
uh, food that smells. I'm not eating it. Come on here. If you smell, I'm not talking to you. I'm just, I'm just, just. But also those same individuals, when you smell something that smells good, you're like, hmm. Uh, certain fragrances. What is that? I like that. Some of y'all are fragrance type. Just like, I like that. All the people that have multiple bottles of perfume and cologne, if you like different smells. Well, God is no different. God says, I like a fragrance. And I don't want no strange fragrance in my house. Uh, don't add anything to my worship. Don't add anything to my incense. I like a certain smell. And I know how to get what I want. When you add your fear to my stuff, it gives off a strange smell. When you get your flesh in my stuff, it gives off a strange smell. Hey. When you put your, uh, your pride in my stuff, it gives off a strange May God give you a fresh fragrance and aroma in your life. But it's got to be made up of certain things. So the scripture talks about four things. The sakti, which is balsam. The onika, which is a, a certain flower. The galbanum, uh, the pure frankincense. And then it says to season with salt. But then as I study, because uh, y'all know I'm a part-time Jew, um, may the Lord give you understanding. Hallelujah. As I studied, I found that the priest, because of this, a, this uh, apothecary uh, design and art actually had a total of 11 spices, sweet spices, that they put together and they did not write it down. Watch this because they did not want anyone else to mimic it or model it because it had to be sacred. God says, I don't want anything else. Don't add anything else to it. Don't, don't do anything different. Hallelujah. And so the art of making the incense got lost. But then they had to discover it through archaeology and, and discover it. And so they, the Jewish rabbis and the, uh, and the Mishnah and the different commentaries have uh, found uh, these fragrances and how they come together. And so it's the balm, the balsam, it's the cassia, it's the cinnamon, it's the sisters or the rose of Sharon, it's the frankincense, it's the galbanum, uh, it's the myrrh, it's the onika. It's the saffron, it's the spikner, and it's the clove. It's a lot of different sweet spices that are all in one. Dr. Dye, the one thing I found, though, is that one of the spices does not have a good smell. And, of course, if you're like me, why would you have something that don't smell good amongst some other stuff that does? Because it's thought that the thing that doesn't smell good is going to make the rest of the stuff smell better. May the stuff that's in your life that don't smell good, make the stuff that does smell better. And may the sweet spice, the sweet aroma that's in your life, may it cover up what you don't like about you. Because God says you are fearfully, hallelujah, and wonderfully made. I got to say that again. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I got to say it again. Every component of you, every ingredient of you, every part of your personality, every part, God says, I can use it all. If I did not want it in there, I would not have allowed you to live this long with it. God says, I want it in there because I have purpose for it. For all my old thugs who used to fight all the time, God says, now fight in the spirit. For all my people who used to cuss people out, now God says, allow your tongue to be used in the spirit realm. For all the people who used to walk in fear, God says, now walk in wisdom and walk with understanding. For all my people who have different cardiac and flesh issues, God says, I Allow me to take what you don't like about you and allow me to add what, allow me to do something with it. Allow me to do something. I'm the God of all creation. I can do anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as I mix these together, as the scripture, if you go study the scripture says, and then there was salt. The salt is on top because it causes the smoke to rise. Glory to God. If you all will sing that praise one more time. All praise. All
of incense. Luke chapter 1 says that Zechariah, um, the father of John, was actually going according to his course. In his course, there was 24 courses after the pattern of what David left. Um, but to expedite through the context, it says that he was actually uh, in charge of the altar. And those priests that were selected by Lot to do the incense were actually also responsible for getting the light. Uh, and so as we still wait for our wicks to get wet, hallelujah, let there be light. Uh, they were responsible for both. Priests, hallelujah, that were selected, were thought to be selected once in a lifetime. Hallelujah. Yes. And the incense filled the temple. Hallelujah. Uh, why would they be selected one, once in a lifetime? According to Jewish history and Jewish scholars, it is believed that those who actually did the incense were actually became wealthy after they did it. I wish you understood what I was trying to tell you. And so uh, they were thought to be wealthy, so they wanted to make sure that it was distributed. The wealth was distributed. Hallelujah. I pray that this new fragrance in your life, I pray that this incense aroma be the thing that actually brings you wealth in your life. I know it has an unusual smell for us as Western uh, Americans, but there's a power in the incense. Uh, the reason I had to bring the bowl is because the incense represents your prayers. What do you have before the Lord? What do you have before the Lord? Uh, even the incense is right in line with the mercy seat or the throne of God. So what does that mean? Your prayers are important to God. Your worship is important to God. Isn't that good news that it's important to God? And so this fragrance canceled out the fragrance of what died outside. This fragrance is what sanctified the atmosphere of the temple. This fragrance is what brought a power because it represented the prayers of the people and also represented what God wants to have as a sweet aroma in his temple. Hallelujah. I pray in this season... Let this be the season as God shifts us into another realm. I've sensed, I don't know if you've sensed it, I've sensed that God has brought us into another realm. Another realm in prayer, another realm in our consecration, another realm in our dedication to him. How many of you sense that God has shifted us and put us in a new place? Hallelujah. I pray that this new realm carries a new fragrance on you. That even as we've been declaring that all things are possible. Somebody say all things are possible. I need a little churches out. And I said that all things are possible. 
Oh, y'all ain't say with enough conviction. All things are possible. I'm trying to, I know, I, I'm trying to shake y'all. I said all things are possible. In this new realm, this new realm has a new fragrance. And the, the fragrance that as we, uh, because whenever you come into this fragrance, it stays in you. It stays on you. That way people know where you've been. I pray that a glory be on you, that people know you've been in the presence of God. That a, a fragrance come upon you, that people will know that you've been with God. That you, we, you've been in prayer. That there's something that will be left in your garment. Something will be left in your mind. Something being left in your speech that says, I have been with God. I have heard God. God has spoken to me. God has come through for me. God has blessed me. I pray that there be something on you that when people hear you, when people see you, when you go by people, that the fragrance of prayer be on you. The fragrance of intercession be on you. The fragrance of a new realm and a new glory be on you. And say, Lord, somebody say, Lord, do something on me. Do something in me. Do something on me. Do something in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Now, hallelujah. We've gone through all uh, the accoutrements. Hopefully we've bring, brought understanding uh, to the things that take place in the altar. So when you see these things now, I want you to remember that it's something that God wanted in his tabernacle. God wanted in his temple. So that means God wants it on the inside of you. No, you not. But your bodies are the that means you should always have the lights on. That means you should always have a fresh word, fresh bread. That means there will always be some level of intercession and prayer that's going up to God. Stand to your feet all over this place. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, raise it all over the place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise it all over the place as they adjust the lights. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, raise it all over the place. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. Come on, shift in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. Mm. Lift the heaviness, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Do me a favor, find your prayer. Find somebody, a power partner. Find one power partner in the room. Find a power partner in the room. Find someone. Hey, that you can touch and agree with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Find a power partner in the room. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Find a power partner in the room. Hallelujah. Connect with them in the spirit realm. Connect with them in the spirit realm. So, my, 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 so you don't know what somebody needs tonight. I want to move these to the side. You don't know what somebody needs tonight. There's, this, there's something that just came in the room. I need this. No. Stop. Stop. Come on, pray for that person now. Raise it. Just one second. One second. I want you to connect with the house. Connect with the sound. You're doing good. There's something. There's something. No, 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 no. Not tonight. Not tonight. No, 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 no. Shake yourself. Not tonight. Come on, pray. Connect with them in the spirit realm. Now raise it. Raise it. Raise it. Raise it. One second. I want you to hear what I hear. I don't want to frustrate you, so I want you to hear what I hear. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, no, no, no. 
Come on, raise it. No, oh, come on, lift that sound. Oh, come on, lift it in spirit realm. Where are my intercessors at? No, we can't let this. No, 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 no. It's rising. There it is. It's rising. I told you tonight for miracles. I just had some resistance in this. Yeah. I believe God tonight. So in the Pastor Kelly is experiencing some dizziness. Hadn't been able to be in service. We got to pray some stuff away. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray on her behalf that it breaks now. Come on, pray now. Hallelujah. No, come on, raise it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, boy. Oh, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you, hallelujah, because we are your people, standing at the altar in this fragrance and this aroma, but God, in your house on a Friday night, 
God, we ask you and petition you now on behalf of Pastor Kelly's body now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we bring her before you now. She has sown. She has given in the kingdom. Oh, God, now whatever this is, God, we ask you to reverse it, flip it, break it. Don't allow it to prosper. God, bring her health. Restore her strength now. We speak strength to her body 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 now. Every attack, whether it's normal, whether it's abnormal, God, whatever it is, we ask you now, restore strength to her body now. Break the dizziness. Break the weakness. Break the paralysis in the name of the Lord Jesus. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Hey, 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 hey. It won't work tonight. It cannot work tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we bring our petition before your throne. We enter your courts, hey, with a petition on behalf of your people. God, show us a thing tonight. Hallelujah. Show us a thing tonight. Hallelujah. Show us a thing tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She shall walk back through those doors. Hallelujah. Come on, I need your faith tonight. She shall walk back through those doors. Hallelujah. Break it. Restore. Hey, hey, build her up. Build her up. Hallelujah. Build her up in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Tonight, Lord, do a thing for us tonight. Do a thing for us tonight. And we praise you for it in advance. Come on, clap. We praise you for it in advance. Come on, clap. We praise you for it in advance. 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 We celebrate you for it in advance. We believe you in advance. We believe you in advance. We give you glory in advance. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, continue to praise, continue. Hallelujah.
something great. Hallelujah.
something's happening in the atmosphere. Something's happening in the atmosphere. Come on, push. Something's happening in the atmosphere. Come on, push. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, Mary. Pray until it breaks, until you feel total strength. She already made it in the sanctuary, but I want you to pray. Pull on God. 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 Stay, uh uh, don't you go back to that chair. Stay right there. Hold hands until you feel something else. Hold hands until you get to another level. Hold hands until you get to another level. God doing something for her. God doing something for her. Hallelujah. Things are breaking in the atmosphere.
God. That's a walk of victory. Walk of victory. Oh God. Oh God. Come on. Oh God. Oh God. I feel something third. Oh God. Oh God. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ay, 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 Come on, Saint, press in, press in. Oh, I got one more miracle for tonight. I got one more miracle. I got one more miracle. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. I got one more miracle. I need God to do tonight. I need God to do a thing tonight. Oh, I need God to do a thing tonight. 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 There's power in the room. 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 There's power. Don't say the power. Break through power. Break through power. Hey! Let's break through power. Hey! Let's break through power. The breaker is here. The breaker. The breaker is here. Hey! Hey! The breaker is here. It's got to break. It's got to break. Hallelujah, 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 No, 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 so. Oh, I feel that in the room. I feel that in the room. One second, Reverend, we're going to come back in. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. I'm proud of you. I need God to do a miracle for me tonight. I need God to do a miracle for me tonight. Mother Renee, tonight's your night for a miracle. I, need, I just need five believers in the room. Uh, anybody that was with me Sunday night ought to know that anything we state, come on in here. I believe God for a miracle in your body tonight. I just need five faith people in the room. I don't need no doubt. I need five, I need five people that know God could do a, a, a hard thing tonight. This atmosphere done shifted, thank God. We, we done got to a certain place, hallelujah. Hey, God. Mother and eight, hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. I felt something break off of you, but there's, a, there's another level. What do you want God to do for you and your body tonight? I believe, yes, whoo, my, my. Is there anybody, thank you, say it again. All things are, say, come on, say, I can't hear y'all. All things are, I said all things are what? If we can see kidneys work after 12 years, after a prayer, all things, all things, I, even the hard thing, all things.
right. Then, look at him. I'm laughing because I love, I love God. I love God. You ready? You were born ready. Hallelujah. Got my miracle work with that. All right, here's the condition. She has something happening due to the diabetes that's causing some things in her pancreas, so when she eats, it stays lodged. And so she's at a pain level of about eight. I need this thing healed tonight. Y'all didn't respond back to me like y'all got faith. I want the pain totally gone, and I want the issue corrected. I want the pain totally gone, and I want the issue corrected. I said, I want the pain totally gone, and the issue corrected. I only need five faith people. Any doubters, I need you to kind of like, just be quiet. Your thoughts are loud. I need, and hallelujah, I'm going to ask God for another thing. I'm going to add some water onto the sacrifice as Elijah did. I want the swelling to go down tonight. My God, my God, I want the swelling to go down tonight. I want the swelling to go down tonight. Give me a chair right here in the middle aisle. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come off them drums. You've been wanting to come off the drums all night. Come on here. Hallelujah. Put it right in the middle aisle. So be more than a drummer. Let's go. He talks so forceful. He talks so mean. I know. All right. Y'all ready? Clap your hands if you. Uh uh. Wait, 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 wait. Only clap your hands if you believe that God can do what we ask Him to do tonight. Gonna take part in this miracle. You pray at home too much and ask for God to do something for you. You want, you're more than a drummer. And you know you're more than a drummer, you just like to play drums. So in this moment, God says it's time for you to exercise what you've been talking about. God wants to prove himself to you tonight. And what happens for you, God says, I'm going to do something inside of you. Hallelujah. All right. I feel good. I'm a sanctified soul. Hallelujah. Clap your hands again if you believe that God can do a thing tonight. Only if you believe. Now, if you don't believe, don't clap. It's all right. I, I don't mind. No, clap your hand if you believe God can do a thing tonight. Only if you believe. I believe. I just don't want to have to fight nobody. Just believe your thoughts are loud. I need the swelling to go down. I need that pain to go from an eight to a zero. I don't want even a one. I want a zero. Somebody shout, all things are possible. Somebody shout, all things are possible. To those who need to leave, God bless you. Um, this requires a little time. It requires a little, a little patience. And sometimes certain miracles require an earthquake. So we got to unveil where the foundation is. Uh-oh. I said we got to unveil where the foundation is. There's a foundation to this issue. There's a foundation to this infirmity that has plagued not just her, but her family. And so... the beauty of the cord. You move so fast, you don't enjoy the beauty of the cord. God made the note. You'll find God in every note. And when you 
play the wrong note, you miss God. May the Lord give you understanding. Now move to the next chord. you to hear what I hear. Now go to the next chord. Stay right there. Now go back to the first chord. You think it's going to be boredom, but it's not boredom. God says I move in frequency. And when I find a frequency, stay with my frequency. Go to the next chord. That's the whole thing. Don't you move to any other chord. I don't want a musician. I need a minstrel. I feel the Lord in the room. <laughs> Those two chords are going to carry this woman to heal. All right. Where my faith people at? Wave your hand. the heavenly language, just pray in the spirit, Lord. Glory to you. Now the Lord can heal you from where you are right now. Cordell. Come on, praise the Holy Ghost. singing holy, holy. May the Lord give you the song of the Lord. He's good. The coos is in the church and it's clean. Does anybody feel that in the room? I feel a rumble in the Holy Ghost. It's like the earthquake is starting. I feel tremors in the Holy Ghost. Come on, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. <laughs> Rock.
prophesying over her health. Victor call it every scripture and healing you know. Walk from Genesis to Revelation and walk back again. Be ready, Luke. Woo! That's what I mean. That's it. I love it. I hear the Lord say that trauma, 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 the foundation of this is locked in trauma, 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 tragic events that cause great pain. And so many people in your family have suffered so much great trauma that the trauma opens a door for infirmity. Trauma, trauma, trauma. I don't know what iniquity comes with trauma, but there's something that has to be broken. Raise that incense, saints. Raise that incense, saints. The ties of trauma. It hurts to even thinking about it. It hurts to even think about it. It hurts to even think about it. Try to ignore it. Suppress it.
I felt a tie, a rope snap. Something that had around your soul. Sins be forgiven. The iniquities be forgiven. Over your bloodline. Father, I pray that you separate her from the infractions against the bloodline. That you separate her out of the legal case. That you separate her. The enemy has attacked her DNA in every person that has it. Either mentally, in their health, physically, in their finances. But I ask you, Lord, to remove her. Cycles must break. 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 Separate. Let that incense rise. Let that incense rise. Let that incense rise. Pray for her now. Pray, 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 pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. The price. I speak life. You shall live. Shoot. Oh, man. Come on, pray, 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 pray. pray. Come on, pray. He's getting to the root of it. Tanya, turn your volume up. Turn your volume up. I know. I know. I know. I know. Turn your volume up. You tell that I know. God do something in your body. He did. Saints, I know. I know. I know. Be praying. Be praying. Keep pressing. Be pressing. Nah, 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 nah. Says a little bit louder.
raise it. I'm in that, you know, I've got me that, that oil, you know. Come on, praise say, just push a little bit more. Push, we there now, we there now. Oh, they lift one of your hands if you feel the pain subside. I need y'all to keep praying. We're getting there. Oh, seven. What'd you say, mother? What'd you say, mother? No pain. Uh, she said no pain. Y'all got to come on here. I said you got to raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. No, raise your praise. Put pressure on it. Put pressure on it. Put pressure on it. We halfway there. We halfway there. She went from an eight to a zero. We halfway there. I love God. I love God. I love God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shoot. Shoot. Somebody give him thanks all over the room. Somebody give him thanks all over the room. Ooh. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. We're going to take communion. Come to me. Let's come to me all. We see the Lord's body. The body and the blood, the body and the blood, the body and the blood. Dr. Dye, your lights are on. Dr. Dye, your lights are on. Shoot, shoot. I'm taking the Lord's body. 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 Yep. You feel that power right there. No, sir. Come on, take the Lord's body. Stand beside her, Tanya. You have lost weight since last time I saw you. Lay your hands on let this swelling go down. Mother, you will take communion with us. I was like, Lord, what do you want her to do? The Lord said, let's take communion. I want to sit down and take communion to us. The body and the blood for you.
finish out this communion. When we take communion, we take the Eucharist. Eucharist means thank you, means thanks. Keep that same, that same war pulse that you just did. broken for us may what needs to be broken in your body be broken tonight break it again mother it's gonna break tonight take each of all of them Blood sugar go come down. Your A1C count will come back normal. May you have a blood transfusion. I feel the Holy Ghost in the room. I said, may you have a blood transfusion. <laughs> Sugar levels are found in the blood. Take, drink you all of it. Your hands again in here. Come on. I want this swelling to go down. Anybody suffer with lymphedema in here? Anything in your lymph nodes? Huh? Lymphedema. Anybody suffer with swelling in here? You suffer with swelling? You a what? And you got what? I, I just need to hear that last phrase. You got what? Come on. If you can have it for you, it's still in your blood. The healing is in your blood. Thank you. 
here Sunday in our service at 10.30. We have fellowship at 9. Love to see you be with us at 9 a.m. Hallelujah. Come from wherever you are. If you would like to sow a gift tonight, come from wherever you are. Even if you give electronically, just come and touch the basket cup. Hallelujah. By faith, come on. To our online audience, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. We still believe in God for a miracle today. He gave me the one. I didn't give him bring the swelling down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If this is your first time here. God bless you. Clap your hands for all our first time guests. Make them feel awkward. So y'all stay in church all night. No. We do government. Hallelujah. I got to believe God, mother. She went my pocket with me. Amen. Uh, those that need to be released and leave, this will be our first benediction. Uh, may the grace and speaking of you, the Holy Spirit, rest with you now, henceforth and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Those that need to leave, I, I just need to pray to this thing breaks.